collaboration with the Leaf Club of Twana, uh, set out to map all the existing ECD structures, bodies, and forums um, in South Africa. And so the purpose of this mapping is really to improve <coughs> communication, coordination, collaboration, and the sharing of knowledge at all levels of the system. So through our mapping, we actually found information from over 100 different ECD structures in South Africa. Um, so as I said, we mapped the national, provincial, and local structures. And here you can see a bit of a spread of the structures that we came across. <coughs> So at present we've organized this information in a really nice document for everyone to access and we've organized it at those different levels and per structure we've got information generally about contact details, address, information on um, where to go to get to the website, the reach, the purpose of the organization, all the activities related to that uh, structure. And so we've got a nice document, sort of organized with a nice context page that anyone can have access to. We're also busy uploading this information onto an online Google map. So while we do have this document, we want it to visually represent it in an easy, accessible way um, on a map such as this for anyone in the sector to access. So it's on Google Maps, and basically it's organized um, per sort of national, provincial, and local. And if you just click on the little icon, the information about the structure will pop up. And so we're really hoping that anyone, even if they don't have Wi-Fi or a laptop, they'd be able to go onto their cell phones um, and have access to this information. So we're in the process of doing this, and we're hoping to have this map completely plotted sort of in the next month or two. All right, so very exciting. Um, Bridge launched a new website in the beginning of the year, and we have a very cool interactive knowledge hub. So on this knowledge hub, we have a repository of all Bridge's knowledge products. So I don't know if, if all of you know, but Bridge works across five focus areas, um, including ECD, learner support, teacher development, school leadership, and ICTs. So all the knowledge products and information generated within those focus groups and in those communities of practice, we put onto this knowledge hub. So it's organized in a very easy to follow filtering system. So, and it's also color coordinated. So you can see ICT, ECD, et cetera. And so all you have to do is go onto our website, onto the knowledge hub, and filter whichever focus area you're interested in. I'm sure you'll always all want ECD. And there you'll have access to everything that's happened in all the meetings in the last two years of the COPS existence. So videos, presentations, meeting highlights, photographs, anything that you could ever need. And so some other examples of ECD COP knowledge products. And um, last year, August, we created a really nice sheet <coughs> um, outlining the QCTO process. And this includes information about the terminology, there's lots of very confusing terms like AQP and DQP and QCTO and PTDPCTA. So this document really sort of describes these different terms and the process um, involved with QCTO. So this is particularly relevant now that the QCTO mm. qualification um, or ECD qualification has just been released for comment. So if anyone's sort of struggling trying to understand that whole process, you can just access our fact sheet on the website. And then after every <coughs> meeting, we create meeting highlights. So this is a high-level summary of the meeting. So it includes sort of the summary of some of the discussion, and also links to the presentations, to the videos, um, and there's a few images. 